Friends Assemblers, I'm Funky Monkey. Welcome to my house of love! Yes, we've come to it at last. The end of the road to the Avengers. The culmination of the Marvel Cinematic Universe's first phase. And I wouldn't be doing justice to it if I didn't put out the call, Legion Assemble! I would love to, but ich muss viel Deutsch lernen. Understood. I know how hard studying can be. I'll let you get back to it. Oh, and also, Happy Viking has been having some migraines, poor lamb, and so I don't think he's going to be around either. Well, thanks for dropping by. Sersa Mersa, ladies and gentlemen. Doyen of Channel Awesome and Gadabout of Internet Video. Also, let's take a moment to give it up for Mr. Happy Viking and hope that he's feeling better pretty soon. In the meantime... Yeah. Ha Hello? Ursa gave me this Ursa net code and she told me it was important. What's going on? Why, as I live and breathe, it's Miss Sophie Liv, the positive gamer woman. Oh, trust in Ursa and she will provide. Nothing to worry about, madam. It seems that Ursa has given you this code so that you can join us in today's Avengers review. You're reviewing the Marvel Avengers movie? I'll take a piece of that! Well, that's one at least. Let's see if we've got anyone else. All active points, assemble! DJ Day from Komodo Music locked in. Edward, here and ready. Dirtbag Online, let's rock this joint! And I'm Boz. Okay, so that comes to... Five! Good stuff. Now then, who's to read off the intro? Normally we'd let the new face do it, but... It's pretty much all new faces at this point, so... Well, I'll be the gentleman and let the lady start off. Thank you, kindly, sir. <clears throat> Released in 2012, Marvel's The Avengers brings together the classic team to battle Loki, the mischievous Asgardian, and his Red Ant army of disposable soldiers from space. On the way, we pick up the notorious Black Widow, the Bowman, Hawkeye, and even S.H.I.E.L.D. director Nick Fury gets his own big damn hero moment. This Fanboy pleasing super crosser was of course well received at the time, but does it hold up to the scrutiny now? Well, let's find out. So, without further ado, ladies and gentlemen, and all variations thereupon, I give you Marvel's The Avengers! We begin in a secret underground facility. The Tesseract, which was rescued from the ocean, has awoken. We also meet Clint. Barton. Introductions are cut short, however, when Loki appears, hypnotizing Barton and Selvig, all before escaping the doomed facility. And all this before the opening titles. We shift our scene to an ex Soviet warehouse where Black Widow is interrogating a crooked general. Cut to India, where we meet the aforementioned big guy, Bruce Banner. Everything goes swimmingly until... STOP LYING TO ME! I'm sorry, that was me. And in New York, Fury brings Captain America into the party, while Phil Coulson has 12% of a moment with Tony Stark. The team begin to assemble aboard the S.H.I.E.L.D. helicarrier. But it isn't long before Loki makes his move. You were made to be ruled. What's he on about? Not a bloody clue. Enter our heroes to put a stop to all of Loki's nonsense. Oh, 
But Loki was only a distraction, and someone else has designs on him. And so Loki and Thor discuss this latest silliness until Iron Man intervenes. Cap steps up to bring this brawl to a close, so Loki gets locked up. And our heroes discuss strategy. Steve, Bruce and Tony discuss what they are not being told, and Captain America goes to investigate. Meanwhile, Natasha uses her very specific skill set to charm Loki. You're a monster. You brought the monster. So, Banner. Yes, you go, Black Widow. That is how you interrogate someone. But Loki is still two steps ahead, and as our heroes bicker, his forces attack. Put on the suit. Yep. Cap and Iron Man head out to repair the engine. And Black Widow has Hulk problems. Now if that had been me, I would have just stayed motionless and played dead. Although, is it entirely terrible that part of me wanted her to taste creamy Hulk justice? Yes, it's entirely terrible! It is just a touch messed up, funky lads. And this is coming from a guy called Dirtbag. Yeah, you're probably right. Ursa would kill me if she found out half the stuff that's going on in my head at any one time. Could be worse. Could be dispensing that kind of thing yourself. That would be terrible. Luckily, Thor comes in for the rescue, and Hulk is lured outside. Thor, get angry! But oh dear, Cap's out of position, and the engine's restarting. <laughs> and worse, Loki tricks Thor into the capsule. Are you ever not going to fall for that? But Black Widow is on hand to knock some sense into Hawkeye. And Phil Coulson is on hand to stop Loki. Oh, oh, I got this one. I got this one. But, oh, dear. Coulson! <laughs> Damn you, Loki! We will avenge him! Ladies and gentlemen, a moment of silence for Agent Phil Coulson. So Loki escapes. And we learn what happened to the Hulk. Meanwhile, Hawkeye and Black Widow come around. And Steve and Tony deduce Loki's plan. Tony goes to face Loki at Stark Tower. So much for 21st century technology, huh? I think Loki should have kept the receipt. But the portal opens, and Loki's alien army pour through! Thor makes one last attempt to reason with his brother, which goes about as well as you'd expect. But civilians are trapped, so Cap goes to the rescue.
And then Banner appears. For Tony's ace in the hole. And now, ladies and gentlemen, the big noisy battle. The part that broke Ursa. Unfortunately, it doesn't really add much to the plot, so we're skipping most of it. But the only way to stop the army is to close the portal. Black Widow goes up. And Nick Fury has to deal with an angry security council on whose orders a nuke is dispatched. But Iron Man isn't about to let nervy politicians blow up New York. Politicians, eh? Who'd have them? Iron Man has just enough power left to deliver a present to the Chaitori mothership. Lucky for him then, that the rest of the team are there to bring him down safely. And so our movie ends with Loki's return to Asgard, and the Avengers going their separate ways. For now at least. So that was Marvel's The Avengers. Opinions then. Who wants to start? I'm no Marvel or DC buff, but the little I've seen from movies and cartoons, I like. And I do like this movie, as well as its predecessors. As much as I like Tony's way of gathering the truth and using it against others, his arrogant know-it-all attitude does get to me quite often. And I wasn't too fond of the way David Banner was played. But all in all, I think the rest of the cast, as well as the story, was okay. I really think this is a great action blockbuster, despite having a few contrivances here and there. But besides that, this movie is a romp. I think Josh did an excellent job handling the characters and the pacing of the film, as, like all good comic book movies, it's a character piece. And who else to pull it off than the King of Nerds himself? In Josh, we trust. This is the big climax of Phase 1, the culmination of a five-year cinematic experiment in pulse-pounding four-colour action in motion. Oh sure, it drags in places. But it's done with heart and style and snark and humour and humanity. It's shot through with human drama. From the vulnerability of Ruffalo's banner, to another brilliant turn from Robert Downey Stark, not to mention the moments of Thor 1.5 from Hemsworth and Hiddleston, and Scarlett Johansson's Black Widow rightfully lauded as a feminist triumph. And even if the gravitas of Coulson's sacrifice was later undone by the Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. TV show, the push they needed was the push we needed. It's been two years, and a lot of water has run under the MCU's bridge, but I think this is a good movie, and I definitely put it into the House of Love. In summary then, it's a big thumbs up for Phase 1. So thanks everyone for watching, and thanks to all my co-hosts for joining me today. And now, all that's left to do is the roll call. Sir Samarsa from Stuff You Like. Watch my show on YouTube and Blip or follow me on Twitter. Edward, video nomad and maker of things. You can check me out here. I'm Dirtbag, and you can watch Metal Breakdown on YouTube and PeanutButterDisaster.com. Keep it metal. DJ Dave from Komodo Music. Be sure to check out my stuff on my YouTube page. So believe the positive gamer woman, a bit of a movie dog, and a damn hot cosplayer. Check me out here. Oz of the BBB. Tune in on Wednesdays on Slay Radio, 8 o'clock CET. Thank you. Rudeness, by the way. And Funky Monkey of the House of Love. Subscribe to my Patreon for secret goodies. And that is that for today. So for all of my co-hosts, I've been Funky Monkey, wishing you good days and great entertainment. All together now, so long, folks. folks.
million subscribers today. You could get your name in the credits. Early access to new episodes. Request your favourite game, movie or anime to be reviewed. Or even be in the show yourself. Sign up at my Patreon site. I'll see you there.